Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of the Shittiest Ace walkthrough of the Worgen starting area. Um, last time, um, I had a little bit of technical difficulties. I had to break part two um, into two parts. I'm in part two and three. Um, I had an internet disconnection and um, part two was unfortunately forced to stick it like, uh, like I think it was five minutes long. Maybe six, um, just so that uh, um, get Gavin or get going. What was I saying? Oh, well, I made part three a little, a little bit longer than my typical video to make up for it, but really, it's not like it's it's not really two different parts. It's just. Um, the way the game works, you have to kind of, um, a few do playthroughs, which, I'll be honest, I haven't seen many. I should probably turn that other audio off. I can kind of hear it. But yeah. Anyway. The frames are looking pretty solid. So that should be pretty cool. Right, I think we're done with this area as far as quests go. Uh, my goal is to get this video up before most people wake up. Hoping it doesn't take more than an hour to upload. Because uh, that way I can turn off my computer when I leave. Rather than having to keep my computer on for a handful of minutes just so that um, the video can finish uploading. Because I have to be at work at 7.30. So, Any friend of Grey Man yeah, is a friend stuff. Of mine. Run, guys, run! You can hear the cataclysm in the background. Greyman of the Greyman family manor. What's your story? I've heard so much about you. I understand you were crucial in my family's survival during the outbreak in Gilead City. Back? You ought to speak to to Gen. He's been locked up in the observ observatory ever since this ordeal started. I'm sure he's working on a plan for his people. He's a very stubborn individual. Keep your chin up, eh? Well, see you have faith in your husband, lady. You can go fuck yourself. Don't want to go that way. Not in the mood for dying. Don't want to accidentally run off the hill. Oh, look at that. Horde, uh, memorabilia. Morgilneus. There you are. I've been expecting you. I got... I got word of your recovery and wait. Do you fear that? My people have suffered so much. Look at what's I become of the last safe place in Gilneus.
What's up with the camera angling, bruh? It's like, poop, 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 poop. Gilneas will rise again. Board the carriage below Greymane Manor. Trying to do my best, mmm, princely accent, mmm, yes. Like, sir, I just wanted to offer you something. But I don't really sound like the princely type. I sound like that little boy that stole something from you out in the, over yonder marketplace. Like, sir, please, would you spare some change? I want to feed my old mom. We're going to board the carriage. Here I should be level 8, but I'm actually level 9. Unless that's the level I'm supposed to be. I'm not entirely sure, like I said in the other parts. I have not played a Worg in pretty much since they came out. Um, I think I played it when the game was released. I think I played more Goblin though. Though I didn't really level a goblin all the way through. I do think I played a goblin a little bit longer. Mainly because the Night of Fairy is kind of boring. Um, I mean, they fixed. They fixed how it is, but it's still like. It's a total pain. Die! 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 You hillbilly samurai! Die. Yay, I've unlocked talents, and we're going to go balance, motherfucker. Okay, where's Starfall? want that shit, man. Damn. You see that, dude? I hit him for 505 damage. Star Search, which is another amazing ability. Or Gilneas. We'll definitely take that. Stamina is stamina. You always need it. It's not your most important stat, but it is awesome.
encounters. That was just such a pain in the ass. Experience. For my people. For Gilnea. Just in time, friend. Here come the Forsaken. Didn't I just kill him? Forsaken scum. By the war banner of our ancient Greymain clan, I expel I you, expel from, you from our central lands. I can't do his accent very well. I try my best, but I can't. Okay, I did it. That crit chance, though. That is an insane percentage of crit chance. 84%. Like, my highest level character, which is uh, my priest and my death knight, they don't even have that much crit. And that's. That's what happens. All of your stats are really high. Good day. Make it quick. chance I would crit all the time. <laughs> but I guess sometimes you just don't get that lucky. Inventory is full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we should go empty our bags, guys. Also, the visual effects you're seeing are how the, the, the druid um, style of uh, balance goes. Definitely, I'd like my, to make my home here. All right then, what have we here? General goods vendor. Empty all my stuff. Decide which bags you want to have what. I'm gonna have my last two bags be equipment. This bag will be trade goods. This one will be consumables. And we'll clean the bags and sort all of our goods. It also will tell you if it's a craft, if it's a trade good or not. Just say like crafting reagent. Boom. Alright, let's 
Let's see what it, how much it'll hit for when it's at zero. At zero, it does like no damage. But we'll wait here until it gets maxed. It's around 504. That probably just means that the damage and the, um, the crit chance is increased when it's at that. Increase the direct damage of your next moonfire. Bam, son! Get owned. Alright, so we need to look for some... This stuff. This almost makes me want to play my druid. Almost. Yeah, I think I will do a, a, a walkthrough on my, on my druid. Uh, I don't remember if he's balanced or not. I don't think he... He might be. If he is, you guys will be able to see some newer stuff. This is a little later, uh, early in the game, and there's a lot of abilities you don't get till later on. Basically what that means is after, once you hit level 90, you've pretty much unlocked every single ability. Um, what can I do for you? 91 to 100, all that you learn are increases in those abilities. It just you generate me. a um, what is it? passive um, abilities that uh, will uh, do stuff. So, I think I will record another video. But I think this is a good stopping point because, um, well, let's go a little bit farther and I still got a minute or two before I, I hit the sweet zone. Maybe we can get some progress in. I don't want to really like, just, as you get higher up the levels um, you get are going to happen less and less often. Like it. When we get to like level, um, higher up levels, I might start doing um, longer videos because the levels will take like close to an hour to achieve. Uh, so the videos will start to get longer and you'll probably, instead of seeing a couple of videos a day, you'll probably only see one, maybe two. Uh, let's wait. I like I really need to concern myself with it. Had our way back and then I think I'll end the video there. So I turn that quest in. I mean even though these videos are only like 20 minutes long, there's still a lot that happens in 20 minutes. You still see a lot of content, a lot of different areas than a 20 minute span. I wish it was better, like, Pokemon because Pokemon needs to make a lot of progress. A buttfuck ton of progress in 20 minutes. A lot more happens in a Pokemon game in 20 minutes. Uh, depending what Pokemon get game you're playing, or get course, going. Then, um, what goes on here. Watch your back. So, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Um, hit like um, or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you again. This is Shady Estates.